something you'd really talk about in your YouTube videos is about how we have well-being within us. What is well-being within us? What do you mean by that? I'm going to answer it on two different, in two different ways. Okay. One is I've worked with people all over the world and I, you can notice, it's easy to notice that when people's upset thinking quiets down means they get more and more present, they feel better. Yeah. I've seen no exceptions to this. If the thoughts that make us unhappy fall away, we feel better. So that's one way of saying it's built into people to feel better. You get upset, you keep thinking about something, thinking about it, thinking about it. At some point, maybe a friend comes over. Oh, hi. Oh, good to see you. And you start talking to your friend and you get present. And what happens to all that upset thinking? When you're present, it falls away. Then you feel better. You might think you feel better because a friend came over. No, you feel better because you let go of the thoughts that were making you feel unhappy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one way of talking about well-being. The other way of talking about inner well-being is that we are spiritual beings who have a physical body. Now, this is very scientific, too. It's not religious. It's scientific and it's spiritual. Which means, like the scientists, a group of scientists at the North American Space Agency came out with a research study that if you look at everything in our universe yeah. that can be seen physically with telescopes or microscopes, it only adds up to 4% of the universe. And that 96% of the universe is formless energy. Yeah. They call it dark energy or dark matter. Formless, can't be seen, invisible. You can call that formless energy. You can call it spirit. You can call it God. You can call it the quantum field. You can use different names to try and say we're surrounded by an infinite field of energy. But we're all connected to that energy or we wouldn't be able to move or talk or feel or see or hear. Wow, yeah. That life energy is formless. It can't be damaged. And it's our essence. So some people would say that's our soul. You know a word for soul? Anima. Mm -hmm. It's the word that's used for animation. Anima. Animation. Yeah. It's what animates a movie, what animates a, a life, animates you and I. It allows me to move and speak and hear and see. What is it that's animating us? This life energy. Some people call that our soul. Mm -hmm. So in spiritual teaching, or true psychology, they'll say it's okay to think about whatever you want. That's the form of our being. We're human form beings. Being is another word for formless. 96% of us is spirit. Oh, yeah. It can't be damaged. It can't be hurt by anything that's happened. So any human being, as they quiet down, they become open to the intelligence and the consciousness and the creative potential of that field of life energy to come through us and help us and guide us and bring us new and fresh thinking. Now, really simply, like my wife's an artist. And when she paints, she has ideas and images, and that's all in the world of form. But that's not what artists do, or musicians. They get really quiet into that creative space, and then something new and fresh is created or comes through them. 
is creative expression. What's that? That's that deeper wisdom or intelligence, or some people call the spiritual nature of life love, because when our minds get quiet and we go from form into the formless, when we go from the physical to the spiritual, we feel closer and more connected to life. Yeah. Why? Because we're already connected to life on the spiritual level. Right. Everything in the universe is connected to the same infinite field of life energy. Wow, I, I love that. I love how you broke it down <laughs> from little steps. That's so nice. And we were even having this conversation before this video. We were talking about how being a wave, we don't think about how other waves are bigger or yeah. saltier or anything. We're all the same ocean. We're That's all the same ocean. Sometimes people use another word for spiritual energy would be pure thought or pure consciousness or divine mind or universal mind, universal consciousness, universal thought, because we're all connected to that field of creative life energy, everybody. So any human being that I've worked with or seen, as they start waking up to thought and falling out of thinking that creates their tension, their stress, their upset, start feeling better, and they start feeling more connected to people and to trees and to life and to their work in a positive way. And that's metaphorically, if we think who we are is the 4%, they call that ego. Right. And our essence is the 96% because that's what lives us. And our true self is 100%. Human being. Yeah. Human, 4%. Oh, yeah. Being, 96%. Yeah. Add them up. What do you have? You and I. Wow. And we're connected to this ocean of consciousness, this ocean of wisdom, this ocean of love. And that any human being who drops into that ocean will feel more of I'm ocean, I'm connected. I'm connected to you. We're the same on a spiritual level. And we're different on a physical level. Oh, that, that's beautiful. Uh, thank you for all the metaphors and everything. That was nice. Yeah, Thanks. you're welcome. Good talking to you, Felix.